Sí, verdad. I understand, yes. Hello. Yes, uh, yes Hello, okay. teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. What a big smile. <laughs> so it's like, hi, teacher, with a big smile. That's a good way of being welcomed. Thank How are you doing, guys? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm very good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> Great, I'm glad to hear that. William, how are you doing tonight? I'm fine. I'm back. I'm missing action yesterday. <laughs> now you're back. <laughs> Reloaded. <laughs> Reloaded. <laughs> yeah, no, and I was very late last night. It, it was horrible. Yes. But I'm back. <laughs> okay. Everything is great tonight. Okay, and I'm connected. Look. I'm connected to my, this is what I do. I connect to my phone. So it's perfect internet and it's not expensive. But last night, oh my gosh. All right, let's get started. Let me see where this is. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, right? Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me see how many of you are here. Oh, enough. Before we start, because you know what, this week we have to work on the midterm, all right? But before we do that, I want us to practice a little bit more. Uh, we're going to be talking, I know we've been practicing with this, but we will do one last thing related to relative clauses, okay? Let me make this bigger. Yeah, there it is. Tonight, we're going to start off by practicing who's and who, okay? Would somebody give me what an example? What the difference? What the difference? Who's and who? This is possessive, and this is for talking about people. Okay. Right. So, imagine. We're going to say, um, hold on, William. Tell me. <laughs> What's your father's name? What my father's name is mm -hmm. Felipe. Felipe. All right, look at this. Felipe Gutierrez. So we know the student, and everybody try to pay attention because this is an example, right? So the student whose father is Felipe Gutierrez is a good man. I'm pretty sure he's a good man, isn't he? William? Excuse me? I'm pretty sure he's yes, a good yes, man, sir. right? He's a good man, very good man. <laughs> I imagine so. So everybody look at this example. It says the student whose father is Felipe, all right? I need a comma here. Um, Hold on, the student whose father is Felipe Gutierrez is a good man, okay? No, but in this case, this is you, not your father, okay? Because we can easily, hold on, I'm gonna copy paste it. We can easily get rid of this information because it's additional. The student is a good man, but what student are we talking about? The student whose father is Felipe Gutierrez, meaning William. We're talking about William. And this is the possessive, okay? Now we're going to talk about Ana Giron. <laughs> Something simple, right? So we're going to say the student who is wearing glasses is intelligent, okay? <laughs> She's like, mm, uh. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> All right, so you see the difference? Is it clear? Okay. Yes, we're going to practice with those, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to send you two images to practice. Discuss the questions. One student is going to be student A and the other student will be B, right? So don't look at the other 
it's okay if you look at it, but take take one. Hold on, let me share it with you. All right, I'm sending you the image. Check WhatsApp, okay? And let's work in pairs. So accept the invitation, please. I will send it to you in a second. There it is. Accept it, please. Mr. Alejandro, did you get the invitation? Yes, yeah, she's sending two pictures. Oh. And excuse the question below with your partner. Ah. It's the same. It's okay. So it's only practice. That is, there are different questions. Yes. B in student A. Okay. Begins. Tell me, uh, tell me about someone whose job is. Please tell me about someone whose hair is very long. Ah, uh, student A. Ah, okay. Mia and I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> In this, no, but probably someone who can paint or draw well or draw okay. well okay draw for well. me uh someone that draw 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 someone draw well draw or someone who draws draw well. draw draw well okay thank you yeah someone remember draw that Someone is third person, right? So you have to say someone who draws well is. Okay. Someone whose job is dangerous. The first. The first. Children. Um, my boy is 18 years old. Okay. Eso, hablar de una persona. Sí, ¿verdad? No. Eh, who lives with you? Uh -huh. ¿Qué, yes. ¿qué? Uh -huh. So, so you yes. have to say, yes. somebody who lives with me is my son. And uh -huh, that is, he is like 17 years old. So, yeah, that's good. It's cool. Okay. Group? The, the teacher uh, sent us the WhatsApp group, Giovanni. Okay, uh, yes, I saw that, but I don't know what is the difference between uh, who and whose. Uh, uh, you can explain me, Giovanni. Giovanni. If, mm -hmm. if, you, if you want, uh, we are I am A and I think is B. Okay, yeah. but if you but if you can explain me what is the difference between who and whose? Okay, A has to be. Yes. 
Oh, no, no, no. He, he's talking about something different. No, who's this Hi, possessive? Hi, Johnny. <laughs> who's I'm this sorry for being late. Where have you been? Oh, I'm going to. <laughs> You're going to be punished one of these days. <laughs> yes, yesterday. All right. yesterday. Last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, anyway, nice. look. <laughs> who is this possessive, okay? And who is for a person? For example, uh, the car whose owner is me was stolen. Okay. Imagine. Right? And okay. the person who lives with me is my best friend. Okay. So, yeah. Perfect. Well, okay. Thank you, teacher. Hold on. Giovanni, you're going to practice with Fernando, so you will have to explain that to him, okay? Uh, okay, perfect. Hello, Irene. Okay, continue. <laughs> continue. <laughs> continue. Uh, the network is, um, is for you. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me about someone whose dream is to become famous. 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 Fame. Okay. Excuse me. No, 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 no sorry. Yeah, Teacher, no, can you explain us the exercise, please? Sure. I sent two images, right? You simply uh -huh. have to discuss yeah. the, the question. Hold on. Yes. Janina, okay, Wilson. One second. So somebody just joined. All right. So you simply have to discuss the questions using who and whose. Whose is possessive, yes. right? One of the yes. questions, okay, you are three people in this room. So, for example, Wilson is going to be letter A and Selena and Gabriela letter B. So, you seem yes. to have to read your questions, okay? One of them is going to be, for example, imagine I'm student B. Tell me about someone whose job is dangerous. And I want yes. you to use the, the um, relative clause. So, you're going to say, okay. Somebody whose job is dangerous is a police officer, for example. Yes. Because they expose themselves to la 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 mm -hmm. and this, this and that. And then next question, so on. Is that someone clear? whose someone whose job is dangerous is a police officer. Exactly. Okay. Right. But not translate this sentence with who? No, no, no. You simply have to, because they're totally okay. different things. Exactly. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Oh, it's I see only... what you're saying. Because one person has who and the other person has who. Okay. okay. In, yes. this, in this, in the student aid, Wilson said, who live with me? And yes. my answer is, with me live my husband, my daughters, and then, then, then. No, it's no, okay? No. no, you should say, no. someone who lives with me is my daughter. Uh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> Hi, did you? Hi. <laughs> Uh, uh, do you know where you're... Hi, teacher. <laughs> Good night. Good evening. Are you discussing uh, the questions? Yes. Yes. Great. I'll be we looking. are in the number eight. Great. In the number seven. Okay. okay. Tell me about someone who likes to exercise a lot. In my case, uh, my wife uh, uh, who, who Sorry, likes Hector. Uh, to exercise. So, someone who likes to exercise is my wife. Okay. okay. Someone I that. To right. like Try to use the, the relative clause. Okay. Tell me about someone whose family is large. Veronica. 
Pues, um, uh, my uh, someone whose family is large is my husband family. Exactly. And then give details. Oh, because he has 10 siblings and give a little he bit has, more details. Okay. He has 10 aunts. Um, I don't remember. Mauricio Punes. <laughs> El Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari. Yes. Yes. He has a very expensive car. Very expensive. Yes. And he crushed. <laughs> 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 I know so one that goes preaching is is my my boyfriend. <laughs> one point one point eighty. One point eighty. Mm -hmm. Eighty and ninety. Okay. They are very very tall. <laughs> For me, it's very tall. I am one point fifty-two. <laughs> okay. 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 When you're talking about your height, you say, for example, I am one point sixty-four meters tall. I'm one point sixty-four meters tall. So you have to say tall at the end. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Um yes, because you said someone who has a car is my is my boss. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, ask me a question. Uh tell, tell, tell me about someone whose name is Unusual. Okay. Uh, someone whose name is, is unusual. 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 No, repeat after me. Say on you. Like on. Uh, on. On you. you. On. Unusual. 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 Perfect. Unusual. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, someone whose uh, name is uh, unusual uh, are my friends. Uh, Herundio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like grammar, right? El Gerund. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You have to call yes. him Gerund. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to go back now. So. We're back. Did you practice? Yes, teacher. Is the I'm difference? I'm not practicing. Though. Just the diploming is the <laughs> yes, I did. the audio in the this. What? What do you mean? Sorry. It's okay. I didn't understand that. What about the audio? Okay, um, so do you want to share anything interesting with me? Is the difference between who and who's clear? No, yes. Is the difference so, between who and who's clear? Teacher, uh, when you talk about who's, Mm -hmm. uh, you talk um, about uh, uh, how do you say characteristica or yeah, characteristics characteristic or something mm -hmm. and we in, when you talk about who you are talking about uh, directly a person 
right. The thing is that, so are you guys still confused with using can who's? You, can you give a little, a little review, please? Sure. I'm going to give you some examples instead, because we're going to be using who's for possessives, so right? Possession. So the uh, thing is, you know what? It's it's very easy to think about it if you if you translate it. I never recommend translating except in future perfect, past perfect, and little details. It's not okay, but in this case it might work because this means cuyo, cuya, cuyos y cuyas. Okay. For example, the students. Mm. Okay, like los estudiantes cuya profesora es Jocelyn son del nivel dos. That's you, okay? So the students whose teacher is Jocelyn, that's me, okay, are in um, intermediate. When I put that information here, you can go because in reality, we're not talking about me. I'm just a reference, okay? We're talking about you. So the students are in intermediate. What students? The students whose teacher is Jocelyn. So it's the possessive form, all right? Now, for example, let me see. Um, let me ask someone and everybody mute the microphone, please. Because I hear the dogs barking. Let me see. Fernando, what color is your house? Uh, my house is color white. My house is white. Guys, it's mute white. the microphone, please. Whose dogs are those? You see, I'm using whose. <laughs> the student <laughs> whose noise is loud has to turn it off. All right, I don't know who that is. Okay, found it. Okay, the man whose house is white. Now we're talking about you, Fernando, all right? Not your house. The man whose house is white lives in, where do you live? In Bosques de Lourdes. Lives in Bosques de Lourdes. Okay. So this information is to try to identify you. We're not talking about your house, but this is a possessive um, clause, all right? Mm -hmm. So it, this is a person, this is a, a thing, it can be a characteristic, it can be anything, all right? Now we're going to talk about Veronica, all right? Veronica, let me see you. Okay, yeah. the girl, or we're gonna say Veronica, imagine that for some reason we're confused Betty what did I write hold on Veronica <laughs> all right imagine that we have two Veronicas in class right and you're confused so I'm gonna say Veronica whose hair is blonde okay, okay. Um, is participating in class is that clear so we're talking about hair, hair, we're talking about Fernando's house, and we're talking about you guys and your teacher. Is that clear? Thank you, teacher. It's very clear. <laughs> you should have done that before, teacher. <laughs> but you see, you know, I believe in practice, and it usually works a lot. So anyway. If you don't understand something, I'm more than willing to explain it to you, okay? So, we're going to watch a video regarding another topic. It's a new one, and by this Sunday, you have you need to have completed the midterm because we already finished it, okay? We're going to start, if I'm not wrong, we're going to start section four tonight. So oh, we're almost done. Let's watch this video. Everybody mute the microphone, please. Pay attention. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. 
stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject. Comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject. Went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? Do so in our discussion box. but in this session we want you to learn about a variable clause of time. Okay, here are some of them and let me see. Let's read them, okay? So say when. When. when after, after, after. 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 Before. 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 before then. Then. then, then, then until. Until, until to, while, while whenever. whenever whenever okay great so this is what we're going to work with i guess that you're confused I, I i can imagine you may be confused with what a dependent clause is and what the independent clause is as well right um that is not so important to be honest okay but i will tell you what it is you don't need it though let's mute the microphone please i'm gonna write something for you so let me look at one of these it says when she comes home she will read a bedtime story so we're gonna start with when when we finish class, all right, we will go to bed, right? Won't you? <laughs> Won't you? 
I think so. Anyway, so it's like try to analyze this. Look, we have two sentences, right? One of them, since they're connected, one of them is dependent. This is not important, guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> dependent and independent. So I, identifying what they are is not so important. But what is important is to be able to use one of these, which is what we're going to do in the exercise and practice, all right? Anyway, the dependent clause is the one that doesn't have, that doesn't make sense on itself or by itself, all right? If you want to take notes of that, because this is the easiest definition I can give you. And the independent one is the one that makes sense by itself. For example, imagine that I get rid of this. Let me copy and paste it. Okay, we will go to bed. Do you think that this is a complete sentence and it makes sense? Yes, it makes sense. Makes sense, right? Why? Because we have a subject, we have, you know what, uh, what a complete sentence is and it's the same thing in Spanish, right? You need a subject and a predicate. Sujeto predicado. You remember that, right? Yeah. That's a sentence yes. and it's good. So this is okay. Now imagine that I use the previous one. When we finish class. Is that a complete sentence? No. 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 It sounds weird. Like when we finish class and then you're waiting. Uh-huh. Tell me. <laughs> so it's not complete. And this one depends on the other one. So that's the main idea, all right? We will go to bed. Anyway, let's do the exercise. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't need to know what the difference is anyway. But in case you want to know it, here it is. As simple as this, you can take a screenshot of it. But what I want you to do is to use this. When, until, while, that's the important thing, okay? So. Okay. Let's do the exercise. Look at this. We have some examples like before. Let's mute the microphone, please, guys. I will ask some students to participate. Other than that, don't turn it on, all right? Because it's noisy. Okay, when, then we have right after. This is also an expression. When, again, when, when. right after. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones. That's what I want you to use. So let's do the exercise. Number one, Wilson, go ahead. Before a man and woman get married, they usually date each other for about a year. Okay, that makes sense. Does everybody agree? Yes, right? So yes. Look. Look at this. They go, go on a short trip called the honeymoon. Right, but you can only take one. Anyway, no. look at this, guys. Sorry, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. No, this is okay. But what I'm saying is, before a man and a woman get married, guys, the microphone, the microphone. <laughs> so before a man and a woman get married, they usually date each other for about a year. So if you notice, we have two sentences, right? They're being connected by this word, which is before. One of them is dependent, the other one is independent. But which one or what the sentence is, it doesn't matter, all right? Before. You just, need to, you just need to be able to put it together. Anyway, number two, Daisy. When a couple gets en okay. engaged, mm -hmm. the men often give the bride and groom um, a gift. No, 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 no. Give 
the woman a diamond ring. Yes. Yes. Let me see. The man gives. Right. And you also know that this, look, everything, this is incorrect, 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 because we're talking about the man. So it has to be third person. It needs letter S, right? So. Give. Yes, that was the only option. Let me see. Yeah, that was the only option. Number three. Rina. Did you understand right after after? Right after a couple gets engaged, they usually um, begin to plan the wedding. Yeah, it could be. Mr. Wilson, I think you were the one asking, right? Yeah. None of this in this. this. <laughs> okay. Hold on. So right after is like right away. You also have that. Immediately after is what it means. Uh, immediately. Immediately after. Like you do something and immediately after something else happens. So these are synonyms. Okay, good, thank you. Is that clear? Yes. Great. Number four, Irene. Number four, and when a woman gets married, her family usually. Mm -hmm. Pays for the wedding and reception. <laughs> Maybe in the past. <laughs> <laughs> now the guest <laughs> favorite, right? No, the now, now. I do bring, this. bring an envelope with money and then guests in the pain. <laughs> okay, great. Next, the Alejandro. 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 There he is. The, here. the king of the plan, the, the wedding. Right. Let okay. me see. Yeah, but read the complete statement, please. Okay. When the people are invited to a, a wedding, they almost always and the king of the plan the wedding no 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 oh. when they're invited to a wedding what do you think guys number three mm -hmm. number three give for some money yes what did you say Rene? Uh, okay. Okay. the third one read it again give the rich and groom a gift for some money right yes. this is bride Right. 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 Very good. Number right. six. Yes. Mr. William, number six. Right after a couple gets married, they usually go on a short trip called a honeymoon. Number two. Great. Try to combine this. Remember, guys, right we need to after. link all the sounds, right? Like right after a Right after, right after, a, right right after, after a couple. After, right after a couple. You're not pronouncing the T. That's what right, up, right after a couple. Right after. No, right after. Right after. Right, right after. after. Right after. Right after. Right after a couple. Yes, perfect. Right, right after. after a right after. Right after. Right after. Right after. I'm gonna write it for you guys, cause. <laughs> okay, yeah. hold on. Like, right <laughs> after. Okay, pay attention. Hold yes. on. And since we connect it, right, the Kinda. sound of this T sounds like an R, okay? So it's right, right after. after. Right, right after. after. Right after. Right after. Right after. Right after. Right after. Right after. Okay. Right after. Right after. Better. Right after. It's difficult. Right after. <laughs> it is. Right after. <laughs> Very good. Number six. What did you say? Two? Number two. 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 Yes. Honeymoon. Honeymoon. Right. Let's see. How did we do? Yay. Great job. 
very good. Now we're going to use okay before right after mm -hmm. a when after and until. Do you have any questions about until? No? No. No. Okay. No, I guess it's clear. Anyway, what I want you to do pretty quickly, guys, is I Can want I you to... Can I say uh, I will be mm -hmm. Can I say I will read uh, a box until Monday? Yes, you can say that. Or you can join two sentences, right? Like, I will open my presents until my father gives me permission. Okay. So you have, like, two sentences put together, joined by this. So what I want you to do, guys, pretty quickly, because we don't have much time, is I want you to talk about weddings in El Salvador and only make five sentences, okay? So before... A couple gets married, for example, a couple gets married. What is something they do before they get married, guys? In El Salvador, they, they, for at least, at least six months, right? No, before, not after. <laughs> before. Okay, I want you to make one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five sentences about weddings in El Salvador, they don't need to be connected, okay? It doesn't matter as long as you make five sentences. In pairs, do it quickly, please. You have seven minutes or six, so here we go. I'll send you a picture of these, by the way. With each one, right? Yes, they have to be related to weddings in El Salvador, but you don't need to write them. And you can just discuss them and share with me or, or write them. It's up to you. First one is before. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Look, look for uh, whose whose house? How whose new house? Uh -huh, they look for a new house or a new apartment. Mm -hmm. Very good. Looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. And before, right after, when after, y until. Así es. Ah, okay. Con eso okay. tenemos que construir sentencias. Okay. Mm. okay. Mm. So, you know, and the before uh, a couple gets married. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And vamos a ver, este, right, right after in Spanish and now I understand right after. What do you say in Spanish? Right after. Inmediatamente después. Después ah. de. Okay. Mm. Este. Let's take turns. All right. Uh, Irene, can you try to make a sentence using right after? Okay, teacher. Go right ahead. After, right after um, when the couple get married. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Don't, don't say when because you're already using right after. So ah, okay. right after right a, a couple right gets after. Sorry, say uh, right, a right, a, right after. Yes, a couple gets okay. married. A couple gets married and they, they go to the honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Very good, perfect. Now, William, make a sentence using after or until. After. Uh, or when people, no. Until 
people get married, um, they have a different life. Mm -hmm. Or a new, uh, they have a different, yes, a different life. Okay. Until people get married, they know, they know how, how <laughs> is the, the life. <laughs> They they truly know their partner, right? <laughs> Until they live together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they realize. Exactly. <laughs> when after. Oh teacher, how are you? Great. <laughs> are you done? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, but we need to try to think uh, more about sentences. That? About that. Okay, give me an example. Uh, for example, uh, when uh, when the couples are planning the wedding, they have to look for uh, housing for uh, housing and, and very and very much details like the food and the place and. Ah, uh, okay. No, not housing then. Yeah. Housing is uh, like a place to live. Okay, I think. Uh, you, uh, okay. Uh, yes. So when they're planning it, uh, when they're planning it, they have to take many details into account. Yeah. That's right. Um, That's right. You know, you you're talking from experience, right? <laughs> 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 How long yes, ago I did you do. get married? Uh, about was it last month? Three, three weeks, yes. Oh my three God. weeks? Oh, my. Yes, you didn't know, Giovanni? No. Oh my gosh. That's because you missed classes. That's Congratulations. Why you've been yeah. I think. Okay, thank you. Congrats. Oh. He, Welcome to the club. <laughs> so. If you need details about weddings in El Salvador, ask him. He's the expert right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Good examples. I love them. You know, this was my favorite. You, you don't really know your partner until you live with them. <laughs> Do you guys agree? Or we can, or we can change. Hundred percent. Or we can <laughs> invert the order and until you live with your partner, you know them. All right. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Doesn't look good. Leave it like that. So here it is. I'm connecting two ideas using the time clause okay i guess you need more practice using this right you want to practice a little bit more tomorrow yes teacher. Yeah. yes okay yes please teacher. <laughs> great yeah we have time you know what we already finished three units and we have two more units to go so mm, maybe we have some time to practice yeah we can do that all right Study it on your own as well, and we'll practice a little bit more tomorrow. So start working on the midterm, please. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. It was great seeing you. I hope yeah. you have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Thank, Thank you. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye.